for watching K. And Mahalani Ani Richardson on Hawaii News Now, your source for breaking news. And tonight, Hawaiian Night Club's trying to bring back the glory days of kickboxing. Back in the 1990s, fans packed the Blaisdell to watch matches. Now, as Jim Mendoza shows us, some new fighters are eyeing international tournaments. In the Jim and Hawaiian Night, these have share a dream to revive Hawaii's interest in kickboxing. I guess they just fell behind on the... MMA scene. Unlike mixed martial arts, there's no grappling or ground and pound in this stand-up sport. There's mostly striking. There's only striking with kickboxing, with the feet and the hands. And the MMA, there's a lot of grappling and, and submission stuff. Michael Talalotu coaches about 30 fighters in the West Side Striking Kickboxing Club. Three made Team USA and fought at this year's World Games in Bosnia. So out here, we kind of like to stand and, you know, bang. It's kind of the local boy style, local style, but out there, they, they're real fast. They like to score their points and get in and out. Hawaii's fighters won one match and lost three and came back with a lot of experience. The level of competition is very high. Everyone has 70 plus fights, the pros. In the inter international competition. Good, 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 good. The out there, you can get injured really fast. Yeah. And if you get injured really fast, then you're out of the game. Tomoto believes kickboxing could once again be a main event here, like it was in the days of Dennis Alexio. All it needs is proper promotion. I'd like to get all my kids, all my fighters, um, more experience than just the local scene. United States! The club's kickboxers are now aiming at next year's national tournament. The prize would be fighting for Team USA again in 2020. I'm planning to go to the Pan Ams in Brazil and um, shooting for gold. They hope the hard work they're putting in here will get them there. Jim Mendoza, Hawaii News Now. Yay!